Hello my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. Welcome to Ed Lead Scallon's Workshop. Well, today, after my sabbatical, I want to talk to you guys and show you something that, um, that just came to me. And I'm putting this out there to my boy Deeds. Doing a great job out there. My boy Woodroff doing a great job out there. My boy Evriam's Lab, Ryan, doing a great job out there. And Mr. Thessalonian Sons doing an awesome job out there. And my boy Scott. Well, let's go out here in the grass and I'm going to show you what I got going out there. And what we have here is I got a grounding rod, okay? I don't want to touch it because I'm going to show you how I have this hooked up and it's probably deadly. So I got my green wires going to the ground wire, <clears throat> into the ground. I have uh, just a plastic PVC to isolate this, uh, just uh, uh, iron, and that's to the black wire, okay? Now, so you guys know uh, about iron, that iron is the best absorption for energy. Iron is the best absorption for energy. Now, just remember, I told you that, okay? And we can talk about why it's such a great metal for absorption of energy. So right here, we have a 12-volt battery. 12-volt battery coming out of the positive. We're running to my bead board here to fire up the one side. On the negative here, we're coming out of the battery to the negative. I have a uh, TIP31 uh, transistor. On the far right is your uh, emitter, and your emitter goes right to base. I got uh, your center there, which is your collector, and your collector is going to the start of the primary. And then I have the uh, end of the primary going to the positive side of the rail. And then on the first leg there is your base. Your base is going directly to the start of the secondary. And that sets up this whole system I got going here. You can see the light bulbs lighting up. Okay. Nice and purple. You can see I got some good spark going. So... So what I want to show you guys, what I have set up here, because these are some thoughts I've been working on, and uh, uh, you guys need to see this, because basically what I got going, off the top load of the wire there, just the top of the wire, I got it coming down and going to my capacitor, okay? And out of the, the positive side of the capacitor. Now on the negative side of the capacitor, I am going straight to ground over there, okay? And let's take a peek here. I got my voltmeter going. You know, can you even see the numbers? I guess you can. It's getting a little dark out. And I got to do this with one hand. But uh, let's see. I can probably touch. Come over here. I'm going to try not to touch it because... All that voltage out of this guy is going directly into the capacitor, and it won't charge your capacitor unless the capacitor is hooked up in a closed circuit. And now I got this capacitor going to ground. So what's happening is the ground is matching what's coming out of this um, this uh, secondary. So if I go ahead and touch the positive side, you can see that my volts are at... Can you guys see that? It's really up there. It's 2.678 and climbing. 2.688 and climbing. So, I am going to take, take that off of DC and see what AC has to offer. And AC is not going to offer. It's going to go back to DC. Now, DC. Now, you would think that with uh, AC, that since it's pulsing from the transistor, that it would um, be high, but it's not. 
And you can see here it's climbing 2.75152, climbing, climbing, climbing. So the capacitor is taking the energy from the secondary and using the ground as a matching energy to go into the capacitor. What does that all mean, guys? Let's, let's talk it out here. So basically, if, if you want to really use anything from the ground, you need to excite it or have something it could match because, you know, if you walk on the ground, it would, it would kill you. So that's not the way it works. So basically what we have here is we have this pulsating system that's coming out of this secondary. And when I touch this here, you know, it, it, I'm going to see, I'm going to undo it. And you can see that, that spark that's going on there. When I touch that, it, it, it burns, you know, it, it'll actually start, you can see it smoke my fingers, right? You can see that smoke. Yeah. You see that smoke guys? It's things like burnt skin and it lights up the light bulb and pretty much. This is interesting stuff. Well, back to the iron. Now, I'm going to go out there and let's just focus on that. Now, right now, that iron is not connected to anything. And the reason it's not, because I'm getting ready to take a second capacitor. And what I'm going to do is connect that capacitor in between the ground in that iron and I think that's where the magic is going to happen this system in the front here is like a closed loop system that system out there is going to be like in a sense like Tesla's hairpin circuit where on the opposite side of that capacitor is going to be the dielectrics will uh, you guys stay tuned because this guy's mind is on fire. Want to give a shout out to all my boys. Hope you enjoyed the Coral Castle videos. Um, I have a lot in theory written down. And what I want to do is start doing some of the theories. And this was one of them about trying to see. Because truthfully, you plug, a, you plug ground in. And anything else, you ain't getting shit. There ain't much, ain't no energy there, ain't much there to run anything. So now it just comes down to just more smarts, knowledge, and practicality of what actually does work and what actually is out there that's already been done. So um, anyway, you guys, you can see that uh, this is pretty interesting setup. I do like. The fact that I can touch this. I don't know how I can touch it. It's pretty interesting. I can touch it. Because usually it's burning my damn fingers. Alrighty. Well, welcome to Ed Leeds Gallon's workshop. Keep up the good work, guys. Love what you're doing. Bye-bye.